sir present for today's class how are you welcome to the class 8 social science part 2 in the last class we studied about paleolithic age hope you all have understood that topic well now let's move on to the next topic look at the screen we can see two pictures on the screen the first picture is familiar to you that you have already learned in the previous topic the primitive man in the paleolithic age had used such type of stone tools but see the second picture and find out the difference between the first picture and the second picture can you say the difference between them the first picture shows the tools made of rough stone which was used by paleolithic men see the second picture which is extremely different from the first picture there are small stone tool with sharp point the period when men began to use the sharp stone tool sharp point historian says this period as mesolithic age so children what is mesolithic age soon after paleolithic age the men began using small stone tool with sharp point this period is known as mesolithic age now let's see what could have been the uses of these tools listen to hunt animals by fastening to a pole fastening means tying so listen they used these tools to hunt animals by tying to a pole the second one to throw down animals and other things they used this tool to throw animals and other things the third point to remove skin from hunted animals so children they used a sharp stone tool for removing skin from hunted animals so listen here these were the uses of these tools so children when man began using small stone tool with sharp point historian says this period as mesolithic age also we can call this age as microlithic age so here we understand one thing that is hunting became extensive in the mesolithic age means that not like paleolithic age in mesolithic period hunting became widely spread and became very easy so listen if hunting became easy what would happen yes you are right when hunting became easier many animals became extinct means that as a result of wild hunting many animals were disappeared from the earth mammoth is an example for such a species which disappeared from the earth due to wild hunting now let's move on to the next speciality of mesolithic period that is the changes happened in the food habit of the people men discovered new sources of food in this period they ate edible grass edible means eatable grass and also they ate dolphin otter whale fish and so on now let's have a look on what were the other progresses happen in this period the first one we learned about the changes in the tools that is they used small stone tools with sharp points that is the structure of their tools now let's see the other changes we are going to learn 
the progress of human life during the Mesolithic age. The major changes in this period they began settled life. Means that they found a permanent settlement to live in one place instead of moving from place to place. It was a beginning, only a beginning for the settlement in one place. Second one is changes happen in structure of tools. Bow and arrows were used for hunting. Then they domesticated animals. The first animals domesticated by Mesolithic men was dogs. Then Mesolithic men was able to hunt animals from afar. Great changes happened in hunting. Paleolithic men were able to hunt only nearby animals. But Mesolithic men hunted animals afar. Means that they were able to hunt far away animals. The next point is they began to exchange food, tools, ornaments, etc. Means that they began to give food, tools and ornaments to others if they wanted. This is an important change in this period the exchange of things. The last point is loaves were tied together and used for navigation. Navigation means trips through water. They tied the logs together and used it for navigation. Logs means wood. They tied wood together and began their trips through water. This is also another important speciality of this period. So children, from where did we get the information of Mesolithic age? Do you know? We get the information about this period from different countries. Evidence for human life in the Mesolithic age have been discovered from different countries in Europe and West Asia. In India, such evidence have been found from Bagore in Rajasthan and Adhangar in Madhya Pradesh. These are the places in India we have been found evidence of Mesolithic age. Now we will make a table to compare the human life in the Mesolithic age with that of a Paleolithic age. Now let's discuss the difference between Paleolithic age and Mesolithic age. See the table. The difference between Paleolithic age and Mesolithic age. In Paleolithic age, rough stone tools were used. In Mesolithic age, small stone tool with sharp point were used. In the Paleolithic age, the settlement, they were not settled. They moved place to place. And the Mesolithic age, permanent settlement began. In the Paleolithic, uh, Paleolithic age, there were no domestication. In the Mesolithic age, domesticated animals. And the Paleolithic age, their occupation was hunting. In the Mesolithic age, hunting became extensive. Extensive means widespread. What changes have taken place from Paleolithic age and Mesolithic age? The answer is given in the table. Children, you know, study of history is really interesting. If you want to know more about history, we have many places in and out of Kerala. If you get a chance, you should go and get to know history. If possible, keep a record of your visit. Hope you all enjoyed this class. This is for today's class. I will meet you again with a new topic. Be safe until we meet again. See you soon. Thank you.